Turtles. Welcome to today's full day of eating video. It's a carb cycling edition, so hopefully you'll love it. So stay tuned. So my new macros for today for this full day of eating is 185 grams of carbs, uh, 175 grams of protein, and 53 grams of fat. So those of you that stay tuned to these full day of eating videos, you'll know that my protein is going to be lower, carbs have gone 10 grams higher, and fats have more or less stayed the same. And if you don't know what carb cycling is, basically in essence, is having higher carbs on some days, lower carbs on other days, and then throughout that time, you keep your protein and your fats the same, which is why it kind of differs from like um, having a refeed day. But I'll talk about the benefits and why I'm personally going to be doing carb cycling later on in the video. For now, I just want to get on with this full day of eating and show you guys the food I ate at work, which is the first thing. So let's have a quick run through of all the stuff I ate at work. I had 270 grams of watermelon. First time we really kind of having watermelon, I'm trying to wean myself onto them. It wasn't too bad and it was actually quite filling. I also had a gala apple, which is around 200 grams. And then I also had some of the nuts that you guys know I love from Tesco. And that more or less catches me up to now. Oh, as well as a monster. Uh, but yeah, so let's get on to the next meal that I'm going to cook right now, which is going to be some sort of chicken and prawn thing, which I kind of got from Lidl. Alright guys, so this is what I'm going to eat next for my first proper meal. We've got some chicken thigh fillets, uh, boneless and most and skinless, but I may trim off some of the extra bits of fat you can see. Then I've got some king prawns, some vegetable stir fry and some of the VT rice. And obviously you just saw me get this from the wonderful Lidl. And today's seasoning of choice is the curry powder, the cayenne pepper and the mixed herbs. All right, as you can probably hear, the chicken is damn near done. So what I'm gonna do now is add the prawns, kind of warm through just for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna add in the veg, and then we're gonna microwave the rice, and that is what I'm gonna have now. I'm probably gonna have half of the portion, uh, but I'll let you know the macros at the very end of the video, so you know all the macros throughout this today. My aim, I've already told you guys, so yeah. And by the way, I'm topless now because it's damn hot, I'm sorry. But it's boiling in here trying to do these videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you appreciate it. Peace. Right, and here it is. So I've got myself 150 grams of the VT rice, uh, 150 grams of the chicken fillets, and 150 grams of prawns, and roughly around 100 grams of veg, probably a little bit less. But that is my meal, my first proper meal of the day, because earlier on I just had fruits. So I'm gonna look forward to this. I'm so hungry right now, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. Quick thing as well I forgot to say is when you're cooking the chicken, be sure to make sure the inside is white so you don't want to eat pink to make sure it's fully cooked. I had it on the stove roughly probably about 20-25 minutes on like a medium kind of heat and then obviously when you finish mix it all up together so you keep the VT rice with the actual prawn so it tastes really good. So you like a prawn stir fry with some chicken, really good meal, I'm going to eat this before the gym. Alright what we're doing right now is going to the gym. I'm pretty late, so I'm pretty sure Sean's gonna moan, but I meet him in the gym, I'm probably gonna be training back, and I'm sorry the last video was a back day, but it just happened to fall on that day again, so it is what it is. I know how it feel to wake up fucked up. Pockets broke as hell, another rock to sell. People look at you like you's the user, selling drugs to all the losers, mad Buddha abuser. But they don't know about the stress filled day. <laughs> I love our gym's music. Dizzy Rascal, old school. Sickness. <laughs> See that face gonna be rolling after. Oh, look at that model, look at him. We still need a tank top though, Sean. I wear the gloves out, the fans are missing it. Alright people, what we're going to do now is we're going to do one arm each on this machine, you can see my habit. So we do one arm, then we go to the other one, then we do failure on double. So do you Sean.
never find another year. You never find, you never find another year. You never find, you never find another year. I'm feeling like the king of the summer. It feels like yesterday. Oh no, you ain't know which way to go. You drag me. All right, Jim Shasen there. All right, gym session done. <laughs> I always kind of fuck all like that when I film. But anyway, yeah, it was a really good session. I'm gonna actually try and leave it as raw as I can, if possible, if the audio is, is not too bad. Um, instead of doing like a fancy edit, probably gonna leave most of that session in there. Cause I feel like it was a good session. I felt really pumped. I woke up this morning at 157.8 pounds again, but I feel like I look a lot leaner. I um, hit my macros for the most part, very spot on. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this week and hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. If so, please thumbs it up. So right now I'm going to go home. I don't feel too hungry, so I might get like a little snack. I love this camera. i got to say, I love it. Like, I love doing this. Anyway, what I want to get into before I go in my house and show you like, my next meal is why I'm personally um, doing carb cycling and give you a little bit more information about the benefits of it. The benefits of doing carb cycling is that it's meant to help my metabolism. So after like doing a long period of cutting, your metabolism starts to get affected. So having like refeeds and carb cycling is meant to help it because the extra carbs into your system. And what it's going to do is hopefully help me get out of like a fat loss plateau because I'm gradually losing weight. But like it's getting to the point now where some of the stubborn areas are kind of sticking, which is like my belt area, my lower back areas. I'm only having one high carb day though a week. So like basically six days a week is just my normal kind of 185 grams of carbs and the high carb day i think it was 325 grams then as i said the proteins and fat stay the same throughout so 175 grams of protein 53 grams of fat another key reason i'm actually doing this is for first-hand experience because a lot of people always ask me about like carb cycling and certain things and because i haven't tried them i don't really like giving my opinion on it unless it's like fact so i'd like to at least do carb cycling for myself for a few weeks show you guys more or less my progress and if you see there's a big difference and i see a difference then i can like have a good opinion on it for future reference so i always I always like doing trial and error things for you guys so when you guys ask me a question, I can actually say, oh, I've tried that, and this is what I think of it. By the way, I just want to say this, because I know some people are going to think it. If you're a beginner, like in your first two years of lifting, don't even think about doing carb cycling. Stick to the basics. You need to get the, the nutrition and your training down and your macros down. Get those three things down before you start thinking about reef, well, carb cycling and all these advanced things. I feel like the first two years of lifting, you need to really make sure you built your foundation before you start going into all these complex things, trying to find excuses. Just get the basics right, and I guarantee you will see progress so that is one thing one mega tip i want any newbie or young person watching to actually take away from this video don't just think carb cycling is your way to fast gains because it's not i want to get this video to you guys tomorrow today is tuesday i want this out for you guys on wednesday but it's cutting it close it's already half nine uh so anyway what i'm gonna have right now i'm getting semi peckish but i don't feel hungry i'm gonna have a protein bar one of these and i'm also going to have two scoops of the vanilla uh, the vanilla or vanilla if you're Spanish, a vanilla um, whey protein. So I need to kind of speed up this full day of eating now because I want to make sure and get this video out to you guys. In the event you haven't seen this bar before, even though I've shown it on the channel before, this is what it looks like. It's really tasty. Thumbs up, USN. All right, it's around half 10 right now. So what I'm going to do now to finish this day of eating uh, is eat some hake fish and some the rest of the rice. So here I have 150 grams of the hake fish from Muscle Food. And here I've got, can you focus? And here I've got the rest of the rice, which is 150 grams. Basically today is a lot of 150 grams. <laughs> and that's gonna put me at, I think, just over what I aim to get. Like my aim for today, remember, was 185 grams of carbs, uh, 175 grams of protein, and 53 grams of fat. Everything I was basically within like, I think six or seven grams, which I'm happy with. So that's a good thing. The next full day of eating, I might try and film the full like high carb day. If you want to see that, let me know. On that day, I'll be getting 320 grams of carbs, which is flipping great. I can't wait to that day. In the event you enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know what part of the video you enjoyed. And if there's something you didn't like in the video, let me know below as well because I'm open to feedback. Uh, if you did enjoy it though, please let me know. Thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. I'm trying to help the channel grow, which is why I'm trying to do more and more like different types of videos. If you guys noticed, I'm really trying to up the edit and up like the different types of videos I'm trying to put out there. It's not just the same typical thing. And these full day videos, I'm purposely eating different foods each time so you guys can kind of see what foods you eat because you may not like the normal foods I eat. So this is why I'm trying to go out and like out and just eat, make loads of different types of meals. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure what it is yet. Potentially a motivational video because that's what the one on Snapchat. So if I have time to edit like a good one of those, I would definitely do it. Anyways, peace out, people. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. See you in the next video.